Good morning. Sorry to be late. I'm, uh, I got complacent or something. It's, I don't know what happened, but I'm late. Um, I decided to play Sid Meier's Railroads because it's been a while since I played the game. Um, I thought I might enjoy the graphics on my powerful game platform, but who knows? I don't know if it'll actually be great or not. Um, Sid Meier's done some interesting work. Um, he started with, um, I guess, Electronic Arts. I can't remember exactly if he was directly involved in the Populous games, but I know that he was at least in the mix um, with Paraxis and um, doing games like um, The Sims or Sim Earth. Um, and then SimCity, and then, um, the Civilization games, and, um, he's had some one-offs like Railroads and Spaceships and, um, other games like that. But anyway, uh, Sid Meier's Railroads is a sort of a, a callback to, um, Transport Tycoon Deluxe which was not, I believe, originally his title. Um, but this one works in a slightly higher graphics format. Um, the engine is a little difficult in that it can sometimes um, make really freaky looking railroad lines. Uh, it's not on a grid, it's um, sort of a dynamic, um, almost a uh, baser curve kind of uh, uh, railroad laying engine. So it can get a little weird looking, but um, I'll try to keep it from getting weird looking and maybe we'll start with the tutorial so that we can see how things are going. Um, I'm not exactly sure of Sid Meier's politics. I feel like he's probably, He's probably a rich white dude, kind of like Steve Jackson in um, in tabletop gaming, but I don't know for sure. I've never really been exposed positively or negatively to him. Steve Jackson, I've been exposed sort of negatively to him because he kind of per personifies a white dude in Texas kind of um, feel to him. But it's my impression that Sid Meier is a little bit more, I don't know, thoughtful. I don't know if he's more caring, but I think he's a little more thoughtful. Anyway, uh, maybe I'll look into that later and see if I can report back. All right, so welcome to Sid Meier's Railroad. Follow along closely and you'll learn everything you need to build the greatest rail empire you can imagine. Let's start with a... Let's start with moving around the world. You can navigate the world by moving the mouse to the edges of the screen or using the arrow keys on your keyboard. You can also click the mini map to jump to parts of the world. Wow, dragging around in there is a little heavy handed. Okay. Um, when you're comfortable with moving around the world, click next. You can also rotate the and zoom the camera to get a better view of the world. Use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. To rotate the camera, hold the, down the mouse wheel and move left or right. All right, so in and out. Very nice. Subtle. Rotate. Ooh. Yeah, that's a little that's a little fast too. Whatever. Uh or hold down the control key and use the arrow keys. That's a little bit smoother. I'll try to remember that. Okay. Uh left click on the lay track button. It's blinking and highlighted. 
Now move the mouse over the track in Baltimore. That's up here. Okay. Yeah, I got the mouse. All right. <clears throat> Notice the circle changes color. All track must start from existing track. Red means you're not touching uh, any existing track and therefore cannot start a track at that location. Yellow means you are starting a track from an interior portion of the track. Green means you are extending the end of an existing piece of track. Now, click on the end of the track and move your mouse to the center of Washington and click the left mouse button. Okay, click, move to the center, okay, and click. Okay, well done. Now, right click the mouse to exit track laying mode. Uh, throughout the game, right-clicking is commonly used to cancel an action or exit a mode. Okay, next. Did you notice how the city buildings moved out of the way of your track? In this game, rails are king and the world bends to their will. Now that you've built a track inside Washington's <clears throat> connection zone, we should build a train depot or a station uh, so that trains can load and unload cargo at this location. Left click the build depot button and then move your mouse over the track in Washington. Left click to place the depot. Okay. Click. Because of all the buildings. Oh. oh dear, we crashed. That's not so good. So the problem with older games is sometimes they're not stable, but let's try starting it again and seeing if we can play some more. Uh, it looks like Steam has also suffered a problem. Oh, here we go. All right, we'll try again. If it crashes again, then I will go, I will go play something else. for access. <clears throat> yes, I'm even playing on an NVIDIA graphics card. Amazing. Yeah, so the conceit is that we're sort of playing on a real railroad model. Sorry about the glitch, I was moving the window. Admire railroads or possibly regional railroads, hard to say.
Anyway, cute an cute animation. I think I'm actually just going to play um, instead of going through the tutorial, and we'll see how long we last. Um, I like to start early. So the Southwest U.S. mission is the easiest mission. Um, and starting is early, and I like to end late just so that I have time. Um, and you can see there are some goals uh, that will be displayed as I play as well. There are milestones that I want to achieve by certain dates. Um, I will choose the second lowest difficulty level, the easiest routing difficulty level, and mm, let's have zero AI players for now. We'll take the map as is, and we'll take the cities as they are set up for this map. Okay, so I won't have any competition. The main thing is that I don't want to blow my budget. Um, so uh, California has joined the growing nation in 1850. Uh, and gold has been found in those territories. Opportunities for wealth abound for folks who are willing to brave the rough terrain yep okay all right so when i hover over a city like san diego you can see it's got three passengers and two male and it has a demand for all basically all the products so there's like oil gold luxuries wine uh, and food so what I want to do is both hook up to other cities. Um, uh, no, okay. I guess I, I should use the I should use the keyboard. So other cities like Los Angeles, which also has passengers and mail, and then hook up both of them to providing uh, services. Now. This uh, uh, vineyard provides grapes. It does not provide wine. So I need to find um, the vintner that converts uh, grapes into wine before I can provide wine to the neighboring cities. So let's actually just connect San Diego and Los Angeles. According to the tutorial, that's green. That's the end of the line. I'm just going to go a little bit into it. Let's actually, let's do that. So the edge of Los Angeles. Um, and you can see I've already used up almost half of my budget on that alone. And then I need to place a station. So we'll place this. And it crashed again. All right, well, maybe this isn't a good thing for me to stream. I'm going to stop this stream, and I'll start another stream with a different game.